We're on your side tonight, doing good with Share Charlotte. Nonprofits play a fundamental role in creating more equitable and thriving communities. And tonight we're highlighting an organization right here in Charlotte, making people of all ages and walks of life champions. Grinning from cheek to cheek, Wendy's life is a testament of winning against the odds. Wendy was born uh, premature. She was only three pounds, nine ounces. She had good weight, but she was born at seven months. Um, I didn't know she had cerebral palsy till she was about 10 months. I was told that she'll never be able to talk, she'll never walk. Wendy's mom, Arlene McDonald, says she's been proving those naysayers wrong. She talks too much now. She's very sociable, she loves people, she loves helping uh, her peers. She knows everybody medication or what makes them, like, quote, function, you know. Wendy has been able to excel even more with the help of the Charlotte nonprofit Champion House of Care. It's a day support program that provides care for people 13 and older with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I found this program to be real helpful to her because now she has something to come home to talk about, to be happy about, and she's 40 years old. And I want her to be independent. I want her to know um, she sees what goes on in the world. I want her to be able to be independent. And um, this program really helps her. Giving Wendy purpose every day and time for mom to get a little break. I get to rest. I get to do whatever I want to, the laundry. Um, I get to walk free to go shopping, even though she likes to shop too. But I have, it, it brings it back to I have me. I can do me. An opportunity that would not be possible without Jeanette Kennard. She is the founder and president of Champion House of Care. Day for us look like the adults coming in. We go ahead and get our education, which is our morning work, where they go over their ABCs, their numbers, their math. Okay, okay. Uh, reading, people come in and read with them. And then we get ready at about 11. They go in the kitchen, they get their gloves on, we get food out, we cook food. This has nine, so. We feed about 100 to 200 homeless people every day, and so we pack it up and get it out there. You wanna take this? Jeanette, her team, and champion members like Wendy are boots on the ground in the community every day. Thank you very much. God bless you. To drive transformation. Well, we're located in the I-85 and Sugar Creek Corridor. Uh, we have very low poverty area. Like I said, there's 250 kids under the age of 14 doing nothing but living in low-income hotels. They don't get to come out of their hotel room. Uh, if they come out of their hotel room, then they family get kicked out of the hotel, and that's due to the violence and stuff that is going on around them. So we started a after-school program to give to the kids to help them get on their education because we find out that these kids are in fifth, sixth, seventh grade, but they're on the first, second grade reading level. And so now we're doing a summer camp program to support them to get back on a great level. But most of all, let them have fun and let them know that they can come to a safe place. The Champion Village Summer Camp operates out of Derrida Presbyterian Church Fellowship Hall. 45 campers get two free meals on top of educational opportunities, cooking classes, and field trips. Robin Ratliff says volunteering with the camp is inspiring. It's very fulfilling. Um, looking in the faces of the people you help, looking at the smiles on the faces of the kids in summer camp, um, handing a plate to someone who's hungry. It's very fulfilling, but it is a lot of work. It takes a lot of willing hands. Perfect. Hard work with an even greater reward. Boy, just incredible work they're doing, and you can get involved with Champion House of Care. It's easy, just scan the QR code right there on your screen. That will take you to the Share Charlotte website, and there you'll find everything you need to know about connecting with nonprofits across 